A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the holy ones and faithful brothers and sisters in Christ in Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father. We always give thanks to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you, for we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and the love that you have for all the holy ones because of the hope reserved for you in heaven. Of this you have already heard through the word of truth, the gospel that has come to you. Just as in the whole world it is bearing fruit and growing, so also among you. From the day you heard it and came to know the grace of God in truth, as you learned it from Epaphras, our beloved fellow slave, who is a trustworthy minister of Christ on your behalf, and who also told us of your love in the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, Psalm 52 I trust in the mercy of God forever. I, like a green olive tree in the house of God, trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. I trust in the mercy of God forever. I will thank you always for what you have done and proclaim the goodness of your name before your faithful ones. I trust in the mercy of God forever. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor and to proclaim liberty to captives. Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon. Simon's mother-in-law was afflicted with a severe fever, and they interceded with him about her. He stood over her, rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up immediately and waited on them. At sunset, all who had people sick with various diseases brought them to him. He laid his hands on each of them and cured them. And demons also came out from many, shouting, You are the Son of God! But he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak, because they knew that he was the Christ. At daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place. The crowds went looking for him, and when they came to him, they tried to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, To the other towns also I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose I have been sent." and he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.